Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you are all doing super well. And if you are new here, then welcome to the channel. My name is Jenna and I film a bunch of New York City lifestyle content. So fashion videos, lifestyle out and about in the city, those types of things. And today I'm starting off a new vlog. It's Friday and we have some exciting things going on. So I'm currently getting ready. It's 722 which is honestly a little bit early considering I got up or I like snooze my alarm a couple of times. And so that usually sets me back, but I fully have my hair blow dried and curled because this morning it was not in a state to be curled. I had to like kind of fix it first. And then my makeup is done. So I'm just getting the lip products out that I'm gonna use for today. Um, but yeah, we have a beautiful Friday coming. I think it's gonna be like 55 degrees. But I'm gonna double check because that's definitely important. It's gonna be 53. So not too chilly, which I'm excited. And I feel like spring is finally, finally coming. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish getting ready. We're gonna do a little lip combo. I cannot find my MAC lip liners and I have two of them, so that's a little bit scary. Um, but it's probably one of my handbags somewhere. So instead, we're gonna do the classic lipstick makeup by Mario and the fussy lip gloss from Fenty Beauty over the top. And then for lip liner, I'm just gonna use my lip cheat from, what's it called, Charlotte Tilbury. But I don't know if I'm gonna use Pillow Talk or, what is this, Iconic Nude? I think this is the, I think I'm gonna use Iconic Nude because this is a little pink already. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna use this tiny little mirror from this eyeliner that I don't typically wear anymore. Oh, not sharpened, we're not using that. Okay, pink one it is. You guys, I don't know what it is, but I love getting ready in my pajamas. <laughs> like getting dressed, I and mean, this probably isn't the smartest thing because obviously when you go to get dressed, you don't wanna mess up everything that you just did, like hair and makeup, but I always get dressed last and I need to chat to you guys about these pajamas that I'm wearing right now because, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna wait to put gloves on. So I'm wearing this really, really buttery soft polka dot set from Fashion Nova and they are actually working with me on this portion of the video. So I'm super excited about that because you guys know that I love a matching set and that also applies to me wearing my pajamas. So I'm gonna show you guys these. These are gonna be like my spring go-to pair because they're short sleeved and I love the pattern. It's like a black and white polka dot. And then they also have matching shorts with this little drawstring, which I love when things are adjustable because it just makes them a little bit more tailored to you. I don't normally pull these that tight because I wanna be comfortable when I'm sleeping. But yeah, I love how soft they are this Piping detail is always something really pretty. Let me tell you guys, and I'll put my face in the frame while I'm talking to you. There are so many brands out there that make pajamas in this exact material with the piping, not even with this pattern, just like plain, like the ones I'm gonna show you guys. And they are hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, trust me, I love having really soft fabrics when I'm going to sleep. It's kind of like me investing in my sleep when I wear like really nice pajamas but these are such a better price point and they're just as good. So as I mentioned, this is going to be my spring set, but let me show you guys the ones that I got that I just pulled <laughs> out of the hamper because I was wearing them over the past few days. So these are basically the same concept, but these are a long sleeve or long bottoms pair. So going into spring, I didn't want to start wearing my like short sleeves and shorts right out of the gate. So I was like, let me just get a pair like this so that I can kind of transition into the warmer weather. And these are perfect because they have the long pant, but then they have a short sleeve top, which if it was winter time, I would get a long sleeve top. But as I mentioned before, nine times, <laughs> we're moving into spring. And I feel like this is a really good balance to wear at night so that you won't be sweating, but you won't be freezing. So this is the matching top. It's basically the same style that I have on now, but it has this front pocket, which I actually, also really like and this black and white I think is so cute so same material really really buttery soft but this one is just a little bit of a different style with the piping and like the extra pocket detail and then we have the long pants and I do just want to note these don't have a drawstring 
but honestly, I'm gonna go as far to say that I kind of prefer that because I don't even use this one as you guys just saw, like it wasn't even pulled tight and they fit perfectly without it. I will have these linked in the description along with the sizing that I've chosen. I think I just got a small in both sets, um, but I'm not positive, so I'll leave that in the description. Thank you so much to Fashion Nova for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I need to pack my bag. What time is it? 7.30. I have to leave in, or 7.28. I have to leave in 12 minutes. We'll just say 10 so that I'm a little bit early. Um, my voice is cracking, that's not cute. So I need to pack my bag. I have one outfit completely ready and then I think, that, I don't know. I should have done this last night, but I like hate rushing and like looking through Pinterest last minute. So I might just um, shoot this jewelry campaign instead. Anyway, let's get dressed, and then we are heading up to Butler, which I have not been to Butler. I probably filmed the last time I went to Butler, so the last time you guys saw it in a vlog, if you've been around for the past six months, because I think it was the week before I moved to this apartment, I was like, we need to hit all the local coffee shops, and the fact that I lived in Nolita, which was like right next to Soho, I had access to a lot of them. So I went to The Lost Draft, I went to Urban Backyard, I went to Butler, and I kind of just did like this jumping around thing. So I haven't been since then, and that's very sad to me because their croissants are out of this world. I would say they're probably number two on my list next to L'Apartment 4F. So if you don't want to venture out to Brooklyn when you're in New York, Butler is right at the bottom part of Soho, so you can go there instead. Um, but I need to stop rambling and get myself ready. So let's pack a bag and head up to Soho. Hey guys, I'm ready and I'm in Soho right now. I got off at the completely wrong stop as if I haven't lived in New York for as long as I have. So just to let you guys know, it does happen, but it's a glorious morning. I'm only wearing a trench coat with some jeans. I have a couple of bags with me, depending on what my plan is after Butler. But yeah, so I'm gonna be like three minutes late, which actually isn't that bad considering I went too far north. So we're making good time. And we're just passing Champers on Broom Street. This is the restaurant I went to a couple weeks ago when my friend Megan was visiting. Such a good place to stop in for a little bite to eat if you're running around Soho, but definitely make a reservation because they're a little bit crowded. <laughs> Sammy, I feel like you're always laughing on the vlog. <laughs> hey, Bill's here. Hi. Avery, let's just zoom in on your shoes. Okay guys, I haven't updated you in a while, but I went back to Butler and worked for a couple of hours and now I'm in Astor Place, which is right above Soho. This is actually where I used to go to the gym <laughs> and when I lived in uh, Nolito, which is like right next to Soho. And we're in the Astor Place Square and the Adenola pop-up is here. So I just went and met some of the girls. They're so nice, I can't stand it. I like <laughs> love this brand so much and it just makes it like an even better experience. So they're so welcoming. They have a little booth, which I'm gonna show you guys. And then I have a little bag of fun over here that I'll show you when I get home. But the setup here is so nice, it's so minimal. The pieces are adorable. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you and then we're gonna head back home. Hi guys, I am annoyed. <laughs> I just recorded like a full update of everything that I've been doing over the past few hours because it's now almost 4.36. Not almost, it's exactly 4.36. And I was recording with a box on the counter that had my address on it and I was like, you have to be kidding me. So we've moved the box and now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I just talk to the camera about. So first thing, I don't know why this mark is so prominent on my face. I feel like that pimple's already gone. Um, but I got back from the Adenola pop-up and I started working right away. This morning I got a lot done in Butler and then came back down after I stopped at the pop-up for like 10 minutes. 
saw my friend Steph and then came down to work for the rest of the day. So my laptop just died. Um, so I figured this would be a good time to pick up the camera and my sister also just came to visit as you guys would have seen in that one clip. So yeah, just some things going on on a Friday. Um, the only other thing I have to do is go to the post office with a bunch of Poshmark stuff, but that's super easy. But I'm gonna bring all of my Poshmark things. No, nope, that's not the right side. <laughs> I'm gonna bring all my Poshmark stuff in this little Adenola tote that they gave us at the pop-up. So they were giving out socks, hats, and I think t-shirts at the little stand that they had. And it was like a freestanding pop-up. It was so cool. I was not expecting that because when they said it was an Astor pedestrian square, I was like, where would they have a pop-up? And it's like literally its own stand, which was really cool. Um, and the team is super, super nice. I think I mentioned this when I was there just because I just, I don't know. It just makes me love brands even more when they have really great people working for them. So I already <laughs> took them out of the package. I mentioned that this was biodegradable, which is amazing. And I love that about the packaging, but there were three pairs of socks in there. And what I love about these is that they are not too tall. My Hanes socks that I have from Amazon are definitely a lot longer than this. And so it creates a lot of like scrunching. It kind of looks like I'm from the seventies when I wear them. And I typically have like all my leggings that go down to my ankle anyway. So I don't need these for coverage. I just like them for style. So they don't need to be that long. And a lot of them are actually getting very ratty. I've had them for like two and a half years. So we're gonna start cycling those out and only having out an Ola socks. <laughs> um, but they make like cream ones and light gray ones that are really cute too if you wanna like change it up a little bit and match it with your outfit like I do. And then the other thing was this creamy white t-shirt. And guys, I cannot stress enough. This looks exactly like the Anita Bang stuff. And I don't even feel bad about it because the Anita Bang stuff is really, really cute, but I'm not gonna say that it's like the highest quality, like thickest, most softest sweatshirt of my life. And I feel like for that price point, it should be. I feel like Adenola and Anita Bang are the same quality, but the Adenola stuff is so much more affordable. So I would definitely recommend them. And I will link the t-shirt, the socks, and the tote bag because I know that they have them online. Their spring collection is insane. Like I kind of want to do a haul, like going to, the pop-up I was like I feel like I kind of want to place an order so we'll see because I do need to get the matching sweatpants to my gray hoodie which need is a very strong word but you know and then the other package that made me refilm this was from Jenny Kane and I got in a few pieces of like spring transitional wear that I'm really excited to show you guys because the quality is amazing I know that their pieces are expensive you guys always comment that and you're like this stuff is pricey and I fully agree with you. The quality though is just unmatched. I need like, this is a knit from Jenny Kane and I just feel like the silhouettes and the like little details like this wide sleeve, everything just looks really expensive and I know that it is pricier, but there's kind of like a ratio associated with it. Like the quality is a lot higher, so the price is higher. Um, but I got this pair of linen trousers and I'm so excited to wear these because I had a pair a while ago, I think from Revolve, and they were so incredibly long on me, which these are too, but I think that I can wear like a chunky sneaker and kind of make it, I don't know, work. But they got filthy on the bottom and I tried to wash them and they did not, like the stains did not come out. And it was literally just from walking around the streets here. So I'm sorry that the lighting keeps going in and out. Um, so I really want to pair those with like knits or like a white t-shirt and a knit draped over my shoulders moving into spring. And speaking of knits, we have a couple of gray ones. So I did get a little quarter zip number. I think this one is the same as the like kind of, I don't know how to explain the color, but it's like a creamy mauve color. And I think this one is the same, but in gray, which I actually really like. And then the other one is probably the one that I'm most excited about because I love sweaters in this style but it's just a crew neck i think i got this in a medium yeah because it said it was already oversized so it just has this nice like ripped collar and then the cuff is ribbed and then also the hem is ribbed which i feel like this detail is usually not there and that's kind of where jenny kane goes above and beyond but i do have a code with them it's jenna p15 and you can use that all over the website whenever you want i think it excludes home items but any other thing on their website, you can always get 15% off. So I would definitely do that if you're looking to like 
sell five of your sweaters and buy one really, really nice one, which I'm trying to do a little bit more of, then um, you can always just use my code. But I really love the brand and I think they are definitely worth it. So that's everything that I just picked up from the mail room downstairs. I am going to just jump back onto my laptop because I think it's probably charged to the point where it's not completely dead now. Polly is taking his second part of his exam. So he had a little half an hour break in the, the middle of it and now he has another two hours. And then we're gonna have pizza night, which I'm so excited about because I don't think, yeah, we didn't do it last week because it was my sister's wedding. We had it on Thursday and it just felt weird. Like we do pizza night every single Friday. Um, let me know if you guys have things like that that you do too, like on a Friday or like a certain day of the week is for a certain type of like cuisine or food. I feel like we just get into routines like that, but I love Pizza Friday, I live for it, and yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> good morning guys happy saturday um we got up a while ago and i got ready i'm just wearing a nice simple outfit because i'm going to view a house today with my friend jenna which i'm very excited about um when i was younger my mom and i or my parents would go and like look at open houses and i always wanted to go with them just to like look at places and we weren't like moving or anything but we just like went to look because i think it's like the nosiness and us but I just also think it's like really interesting and you can kind of see like what's out there and you know how much things cost um, so yeah I am gonna take the ferry over to Hoboken and then Jenna's gonna drive from there um, but I did tweak my shoulder this morning so I'm applying this pain relief stick which I'm hoping helps because I think after talking to a couple of people um, my rotator cuff is a little bit aggravated so I'm just gonna put this on. This has also never happened before, so we're just kind of going along with this. And I'm probably gonna put this in my purse just in case it gets a little bit like inflamed or something while we are on the trip. So yeah, I also have a haircut later today, so I'm not taking no for an answer for this getting better because I desperately need to get my hair cut. This is the longest my hair I think has ever been. It was really long in college, but I don't think it was ever this long and it, it's my JS health vitamins I know that for a fact um, I take them every single night I had a few beers last night and I came home and I took them it's just like part of my routine now so um, Polly is patiently waiting we're gonna go to a diner quickly before I head over on the ferry and yeah we're still gonna have a wholesome morning not gonna let this you know put a, a damper on the day Oh, the tanning drops really did their job yesterday. Good morning, guys. Happy, happy Daylight Savings Day. Is that what you call it? I don't know. But today is Daylight Savings. It's Sunday, and we have just gotten ready to go to church. I got up probably not as early as I wanted to, but technically it would have been 8.15 instead of 9.15. So not too bad for a Saturday, even though we didn't go out last night. Um, but I just got dressed. We're going to church this morning and then we're gonna try to do a Trader Joe's run afterwards because we have like no food for dinners like last week we we're running out of ideas to do because we had like no chicken salmon all that kind of stuff so we're gonna grab that stuff and I also want to get flowers for this table because my rotator thing looks really empty without them and we're actually getting into spring now so it's like the appropriate time to buy them even though I was buying them in like the dead of winter. But I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then I'm gonna end off the vlog because I wanna do like a Sunday reset, like Sunday in my life video this morning or like today. And I feel like it'll just be like a chill, probably like shorter video. My battery is flashing. Okay, I just switched out the battery quickly. I never know which one of them is charged so I had to go through a couple of things to find the right one, but um, this is what I'm wearing for today. It's like 45 degrees, I think, and overcast. It was very sunny when we first woke up, but I think it's getting cloudier. So I did a collared shirt. This one's from Riona. It's probably like my favorite white button down, and I typically try not to wear this as just an underneath shirt because I like wearing this on its own, but 
My cause one, I think is too flimsy. So I put that one underneath my Jenny Kane sweater. This is the one that I just showed you guys in this video. And then over the top, this is an Everlane coat. It's kind of like the perfect spring coat because it's not too heavy, but it still has some warmth to it for like days like this where it's not like winter coat weather, but it's not no jacket weather, if that makes sense. Um, and then on the bottom, which Polly was surprised about because it's not Memorial Day yet, but I am wearing white jeans. I don't like wearing jeans to church because I feel like it's not fancy enough, but you'll see in a second that I have a couple of accessories. So these are just straight leg white denim from Zara. And then I'm gonna do Chanel loafers to again, dress it up. And I feel like the coat over the top does make it look a little bit fancier. And then we have my Arquette bag. And then over the, <laughs> over the top of that, I am gonna wear my Saint Laurent little angular sunglasses. These were out from shooting the other day and I forgot how much I love wearing these, so I pulled them back out. You guys know I have a ton of sunglasses, so it's kind of hard for me to choose sometimes. I also completely forgot to tell you guys about my hair, but I went to go house hunting with my friend Jenna and we got back to Hoboken about out at around 2.30 and then I just Ubered from there and got there a little bit early, sat there, made some friends while I was waiting, and then I chopped off two inches of my hair. So Stevie recommended two inches, but it's still pretty long. Usually this is how long my hair is before I get it cut, but this is how long it is afterwards. I'm gonna keep up with my JS Health Vitamins because I feel like that's the only thing that I've changed. That and the fact that I've been eating a lot more avocados than I ever, <laughs> ever have in my life, which I'm sure does not have any effect on my hair. But um, yeah, he did a really good job with the cut. There's like a lot more dimension in it, which I'm happy with and obviously kept my natural color not too much like crazy things going on but he did fix my face frame from when i got it cut for my sister's wedding so that was great then we got back and had dinner at a pub and then watched dune for the first well it was my first time watching dune it's Polly's third time and thank god because that was a little bit confusing and we do want to go see the second one so possibly do that tonight or like next weekend or something but it was really good and i stayed awake for the whole two and a half hours if i could do it for Harry Potter, I can do it for any movie. So um, yeah, just a nice wholesome night and then we're just up and at them this morning. So I'm going to end off this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am gonna do, as I mentioned, the little Sunday reset vlog so that one will come right after this. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video.